Welcome back trainers and in this video we're going to be going over a league community day that is going to be brand new and that is going to be Bellsprout. Let's get into this here and see what we have going on as well as speculate on what the move can be. This has not officially been announced. It was accidentally leaked I do believe on the Latin community page somewhere and now well we already know what it's going to be. You can't take it back anymore. So with that said, if you do enjoy these types of leaked videos or just news videos in general, if you can give this a thumbs up, that'd be much appreciated. All right, so the Bellsprout Community Day is going to be going down April 20th at 2 p.m. until 5 p.m. And of course, you are going to see your typical rewards. We do not know what the actual uh, event reward is going to be. Stardust or XP times three, we'll have to see. If I had to take a guess, I'm going to say Stardust because that's just what I want, okay? But who knows? The move, we do not know what that is going to be quite yet. We're going to go over some speculation here in just a minute, though. And then, of course, you are going to be seeing the raids for the Weeping Bell uh, from 5 p.m. until 10 p.m., in which you're still going to be able to evolve Weeping Bell into Victory Bell to receive its Community Day move. Now, we've seen this before where they've given the middle stage a move as well. They could give Weeping Bell something, but I'm not going to actually uh, put money down on that. It's a possibility but we'll just say it's just going to be a move for Victory Bell at the moment. Uh, so yeah, that's going to be a nice opportunity for you to do as well. If you can't play the actual time on the 20th from 5 until 10 p.m. is going to be another option for you as well. And then, of course, we have the Shiny family, which they all look amazing. OK, they all look great. Let's go. All right. So let's go ahead and take a look at this video here, folks. This is some pretty awesome stuff. And uh, let's see what we have going on here. First, we're going to start it off by looking at my Pokemon. And then we're going to look at the moves and then we're going to look at it and go battle league or probably go battle league and then the moves we'll see but with that said let's go ahead and start this video right now all right so all of mine i do have this 100 percent completely maxed out uh bell sprout i made a grown man cry when i made this i'm not even joking you i'm i kid you not i made an actual grown man cry all over twitter because i powered this up good times good good times we called that one kill sprout there uh, as far as completely uh, evolving it, I don't know. We're going to see how good it is going to be in the Master League. I mean, doesn't matter what move they give it. Victory Bell in the Master League is always going to be kind of ass. And then we do have this 98 Weeping Bell that I have. What? What is going on here? Let's go. I'm all set. And then we do have the old classic OG Kush from 2016, 100% IV. That thing helped me take out a lot of gems and we do have another shadow and we also have a shiny. I will probably use an elite TM on the shadow that I do have so that I just have another one ready to go because I don't have a bunch of shadow bell sprouts lying around. Although if you're looking to get a shadow bell sprout, the Giovanni decoy will carry those and you can get those from it. Okay. Just know it will have frustration. You're not going to be able to TM that away. So that is something on the table, but a hey, so taking a look at this completely powered up, it's going to be at 18, 17. Uh, no point of actually powering that up right now. All right, now let's go ahead and take a look at its moves and see what we have going on here. Uh, all right, so Leaf Tornado, it already has that move. So forget about that. It doesn't have Poison Jab. That is an option. Has Razor Leaf. Okay. Uh, a lot of these moves are effect moves, which unfortunately are not going to do anything. Leaf Storm could be an option on the table as well. Although I'm going to tell you, Magical Leaf, I do believe is probably something that it can get. That would be amazing if it was to receive a new quick move, for sure, as it does have Razor Leaf. Pretty good. Acid, not so great. If it did receive Poison Dab, that would be amazing. But then it's going to have to be a duel to actually make it even better, I suppose, or give it that much more of usability. Moving down here, we do have Bullet Seed, which I do believe that, would, that could be a double whammy. One for the quick move, one for the charge move. And it has Sludge Bomb already. It has Solar Beam already. Energy ball doesn't it doesn't need that. No, thank you. We don't want to use that move. Uh, but as far as I'm concerned, the magical leaf is definitely something that we would want it to learn, as well as the um the other what was that other one there? Damn it! Where, where did it go? Where did it go? Well, weather ball. That's another one. Okay, weather ball for grass. That'd be amazing. It has leaf blade. But I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see what they do with it, right? And then moving down here, uh, Trailblaze. That could be another option. Uh, we already went over Bullet Sleeve. Body Slam could another, be another option. Poison Jab. We already went over that. Giga Drain. Now, I was looking at this. They haven't added Giga Drain into the game yet. 
what it does in the main series game, it, it takes off health from your opponent and it heals you, all right? With, I do believe, half the health that you took from them. If we were able to actually recover health with this move, that'd be amazing, but that's just, fantasy thinking, right? Taking a look at Victory Bell in the Great League, it's going to be ranked Shadow 147, and it is obviously going to destroy the Water-type Pokemon. Razor Leaf Acid, Leaf Blade, Sludge Bomb, uh, Leaf Tornado, uh, Leaf Blade, Sludge Bomb. Those are the moves that it currently does have. Uh, in the Ultra League here, it is going to be ranked, the Shadow is just going to be infinitely better. Uh, 312, which, you know, it's not the best, but it can also destroy the water types, as we can see here. But things like Talonflame, Steel types, um, Giratina are going to absolutely just shut that thing the heck down. Now, I was looking for Master Premier, but it doesn't look like they have actually added it onto PV Poke quite yet. So we're just going to go straight into the Master League here. As the Shadow is going to be ranked 450, as expected. It's not going to be great here. And uh, that's just the way it goes completely getting dominated by the dragons as well as the ghost type pokemon so it looks like one of the best leagues for it is going to be the great league i mean it's not like a big secret or anything like that as well as the ultra league too here um so make sure like if you don't have a shadow i'm telling you find a decoy but the thing is this if it does have frustration you're not going to be able to get the community to move so there is that little pain in the butt thing that you have to deal with Okay, but I guess you can just have them lying around so then whenever you're able to TM away frustration again that you're going to be able to have it on deck and ready to go. But there you have it, folks. I just wanted to bring you a quick update on the news and what's going on here. My community day for Bagon hasn't even started yet, so I'm able to comfortably make this video. And uh, yeah, so there you have it, folks. If you did enjoy this, please give it a thumbs up and I'll catch you all next time. Take care. Hey, so you're finally here. <laughs> Fantastic.